Well, I'm at Northwestern as part of an annual set of visits that I make to universities. For years I've done this uh, in order to be able to share some of our ideas about what's going to happen in the future and also to listen to the student and faculty and administrators. Well, there's just several big trends I think happening in computing that affects everybody whether it's at work or at home. One is the arrival of huge amounts of data and the computational capabilities accessible to virtually everybody now. And this is essentially a 3D tool where you can make your own movies of your analysis of very large data sets. So in this case, we took all the same rainfall data and we made a guided tour where we essentially are going to fly through this data. Computers actually now are smart enough to uh, be able to study things like medical images and be able to extract uh, not just information, but to organize the pictures and even find internal organs. Another big trend is natural user interaction. Uh, people have been pointing and clicking and typing for a long time, uh, but now we want more natural ways to interact with our computers. In the new Windows Phone, one of the things that we're doing is taking a number of features related to giving the phone sort of eyes and ears and applying them to helping people get things done. And so some of the features we'll show is the ability for the phone to recognize objects uh, and to translate that into information. In Microsoft, you know, we call this uh, the transition from the graphical user interface to the natural user interface, or GUI to NUI. I think the one thing which I really liked was the uh, evolution of the natural user interface and how we're moving beyond you know, typing into a keyboard to a more natural interaction with devices. I think that's going to be quite fascinating going forward. One of the tricky parts about merging the physical world and the virtual world is finding ways to make it easy to move back and forth. Another capability we'll show is 3D scanning capability, the Kinect technology from Xbox, but using it not just for game playing, but to allow me to manipulate physical models or even transport me into other uh, virtual environments. I was really surprised by this video scanner and the speed that it performs its activities at and actually all the capable, how easy it is to basically design an object with this. Recently we introduced an Avatar Connect where you can use the camera to animate your avatar, send it out to meet people in other 3D environments. And I think this is the beginning of what will become a more robust telepresence experience uh, over time. Once Connect was introduced, uh, it represented a dramatic change in accessibility of the technologies for computers to see. As a result, we saw developers around the world get excited about using the camera for all kinds of things. Some of them are crazy and fun, some of them very serious. So the, but the ability to have computers that can really see in three dimensions is a revolutionary capability. You know, when I come to a campus and talk about these things, we hope that they'll uh, really begin to focus their own energies on how they can use these things, not just in their schoolwork, but as they think about you know, going on and getting jobs and, and getting excited about what they do for the rest of their life, that this will be an integral part of the way they think about it.